Um, awesome. Anyways, okay, so dude, your song, a couple things you want to do with your song. You want to try it in the key of F minor and the key of G minor. And you want to recognize that you have a chromatic bass line. That means that notes are going down one fret at a time, the closest possible note. And then you can transpose it into different keys. You can transpose it into F. phrasing. You also want to do it in the major keys for contrast, just so your brain is processing this stuff. So it's no different, you just use a major chord on the top. playing across the changes, which means you, you pick a scale and you stick to it. So your song in C minor, you could play your bass line. Whoops. You could just improvise to it over that simple bass line, and you can play across the changes. Um, but then we talked about adding a third chord to your blues. So when you're playing your blues, your C7 is primary. C, E, G, B flat, that's home. Four is F, five is G. So you already know your F7. This week you're adding a G7. D, F, G, B. Which is just a simple G chord with the note below the root added. That's the seventh. So you want to practice G7 to F7 a bunch. So they have C, F, G, F, C. Mm -hmm. So we introduced a new scale, which is the C major blue scale. You can play that over the C chord and then come down the minor on the F. Try the same thing on G to F. how to play inside the changes too, which means you stick to the notes within the chord more or less. That's the all-important little blues run because you confirm the fact that we know, which is that the blues is not minor, the blues is not major, the blues is both. So the scale confirms that and acknowledges that mm -hmm. by getting both of those notes. So if you go F, C, G, F, C, and you can, you can improvise, so that's playing inside the changes. So when you play hard work, hard work just goes hard work, four beats on C, four beats on F, hard work. So you can play inside the changes, you can... And as you said, repetition. When you find a phrase you like, do it five times. Listen to it. Process it. Um, so that's inside the changes on hard work. Um, and when you're playing you can also do this inside the changes. That's another example. So when hard work is playing, you can just hard work, hard work. That's a little harder because hard work moves fast. But 
the last thing that we talked about today is how you can use both scales when you're improvising. So the top part of the scale in the major goes G, A, C. But in the minor, there's only one note different. So you can just take a short solo with just these notes and just intersperse them. get a vibe of how to, how to do that, you can do the same thing here. Take the first three notes of the minor scale. C, E flat, F versus the major. And you can do the same thing. Minor. Awesome there, but it's the same kind of vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, same mm -hmm. kind of vibe. So the big takeaway from today is you can play across the changes. That means just play scales. Or you can play inside the changes. That means follow the chords around with chord tones. F G F C. Beautiful. All right, dude. Hopefully that'll give you some new shit to try. Totally. This is awesome. Great job.